Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not. 40% of Americans say they've made contact with the dead. What do the dead know? Do the dead know anything? The Bible says this. It says, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. So, the Bible says, the living know that they shall die, but the dead don't know anything. Why is that? Why do dead people not know anything? Well, the obvious answer is because they're dead. That's the reason. Sort of like your dog Rover. When Rover died, he was dead all over. Uh, asleep, in the grave, oblivious to the passage of time. Unaware, unconscious. Did you pick up on that? It says the wages of sin is not what you thought it was. The wages of sin is death. You are no more. You cease to exist. Now, let me tell you how a lot of people read that. A lot of people read that as they say like this. They say, well, the wages of what, what you earn by sinning is eternal life in hellfire. In other words, the first lie that's, that the devil ever told was, you have an immortal soul. You're not going to die. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and eat of this tree and, hey, you won't have to worry about a thing. You shall not surely die. The first lie that's, that the devil ever told, that Satan ever told, the serpent ever told was, you have an immortal soul, something inside of you that cannot be destroyed. Now, question. If you, had, if you had an immortal soul, if you come into this world, when you are born, if you come into this world with something about you that is immortal, then why do you need God? The scripture says that God only has immortality. More than 75% of you are not going to believe what your Bible says, what Jesus said about the state of the dead. Okay, how did Jesus look at death? Well, like a good night's sleep. Uh, someone referred to it as a dirt nap. You know, it's the best night's sleep you've ever had. Jesus says, Lazarus is asleep. He's asleep in the grave. Where did Martha, Martha get her theology from? It's a very sound theology. She says, Lord, I know he's going to be made alive at the last day at the resurrection. Incredibly sound theology. I wish more people could understand and, and uh, what the Bible says about the state of the dead. You know, Martha didn't say, well, Lord, Jesus, you don't need to be here. You can go home now. Lazarus is with, the, with God in heaven right now. Why didn't she say that? Why didn't she say, well, don't, don't worry yourself, Jesus. You don't, you don't. Go on back home. He, he, my brother Lazarus is all right. He's with the Father right now. When you die, the clock of life stops. And at the resurrection, it starts back. And that period of time in between those two, you are totally unaware of oblivious to the passage of time. But the dead are in the grave and they know nothing. And they're waiting for the resurrection.
from the dead. They're waiting for the return of Christ and for Christ to resurrect the dead. Let's notice what the scripture says. That this mortal, what we are now, has to put on immortality. Immortality is something that you don't have right now. You've got to put it on at the resurrection, at the return of Christ. And it's not, and not a moment before. Not a moment before. Is that really in the Bible? What do the dead really know? Is the concept of flitting off to heaven when you die, is that really in the Bible? Did you know that Jesus himself said that no man has ascended to heaven? That's right. No man has ascended to heaven. That's what your Savior says. And the Bible says the dead don't know anything. They are asleep in the grave, and they're waiting for the resurrection from the dead. That's what's really in your Bible.